He texted me yesterday and he said, well, it took me a little while. He goes, I slept great. It took me a little while to come down and get to sleep. He goes, but I'm just really afraid I'm going to wake up from a dream just yet. This is the dining room table at Kyle Couric's parents' house. The game jersey, newspaper articles, and pictures are souvenirs from their son's success. And like most parents, Steve and Judy Couric still make home movies of their son. This is their video on Senior Day, Louisville's last game ever on their historic home court. We were hoping that he would get some chance to play in the game, this being the last game in Freedom Hall, but uh, we weren't sure how that was going to work out. Playing the number one team in the country and losing in the second half, this Evansville Memorial graduate steps onto the court and steps into the biggest moment of his life. And the night before he called and we were talking and ended up having a long conversation with him and he just told me, you know, my shot feels good. If I get, if I get a chance, I'm taking it. Kyle shot. And shot. Derek and open. And shot. Derek again. Kyle shot 11 times and scored 9 times. A player who averages just 3 points a game scored 22 points in a half to beat the number one team in the country in the last game at Freedom Hall. Stunned. Just yeah. stunned. Yeah, stunned. I think he was just, just in shock. He was just looking around like, I just can't believe this. It's been such a long road, and there's been so many ups and downs, um, and he's worked so hard on his own, um, so self-motivated. Yeah, as a parent, you're happy to see that, you know, someone get a chance to show what they're capable of doing. I think there was, a lot, there was a lot of people that said, you know, you're crazy, you're going to Louisville, you can't compete, it's too big of a conference, you're going to sit the bench, you're not going to contribute. Um, a lot of doubters, a lot of critics and so forth. And, and I think, you know, there was moments that he even had those thoughts. And um, I think now that, that that's not there anymore.